why women aren't rushing to the altar anymore is not because city girls are up by 10 or people just want to be outside. It's because of how embarrassing y'all make marriage look. There's more married men in my DMs than single men. What was the point? What was the point? For better or for worse means you get sick, baby, I got you. You lose your leg, honey, I got you. You lost your job. Well, baby, you provided for this family for so long. Sit back, take a break, baby, I got it. Not you making a conscious decision to go f*** shit down the street. I didn't sign up for that. <laughs> All right, y'all, let, let, let's, let's break this video down. Why women aren't rushing to the altar anymore is not because city girls are up by 10 or people just want to be outside. It's because of how embarrassing y'all make marriage look. There's more married men in my DMs than single men. What was the point? What was the point? For better or for worse means you get sick, baby, I got you. You lose your leg, honey, I got you. You lost your job. Well, baby, you provided for this family for so long. Sit back, take a break, baby, I got it. Not you making a conscious decision to go f*** shit down the street. I didn't sign up for that. Now, before y'all attack me about what the hell I know about for better or for worse, I filed for divorce a couple years ago, and my life would have never looked the way that it looked now had I kept that ring. Marriage means nothing if you're disrespected and neglected. Marriage means nothing if you're hated, berated, or degraded. It just doesn't. And here we go. I'll be the first to say that it is a piece of paper if the person you're committed to is not committed to you. So if you feel like these modern women need to go back to being wives, we will once you start respecting yours. But until then, we're going to be outside. Just go get happy. I want to break this video down because it's very important that we start with the bang sinks. Number one. You cannot complain when you chose this man. See, this is what people don't get. This is what women do not understand. You chose this man to marry. Of course you're going to file for divorce because he is not treating you right. See, this is, this is my question to women everywhere and i want only women to answer this question why would you marry someone that is exhibiting characteristics of not being able to be what you want him to be say hold up wait a minute something ain't right why would you marry someone that is not going to treat you like a person. I didn't sign up for that. Because the thing is, is that this is what I'm seeing. And this is what other men are talking about. It, this is like going to the car dealership. And you are presented with a choice. You choose which car you want to buy. Based on the features, the mileage, the accident report. The car effects, how many accidents the car has been in. So if you're buying your car, a.k.a. And getting a man, and you've been dating him for quite some time, just because you're marrying this man or marrying this woman is not going to change the fact that this is who they are. Marriage does not change you. It just amplifies the person that they already are. So what happened with this woman, which is what happens with a lot of women, is you get in a relationship with a guy and you feel that if I stay long enough, I'm going to make him into the man that I want him to be. I'm going to make him into this great man. I'm going to build this man from the ground up and it never works out. So now you've built this man up to go over to a new woman and you're left with nothing. That's what I'm saying, and that's, that's what I'm saying, and that's what men are saying. You chose this man to marry. When that man got down on one knee to propose, you could have said, no, nope. but you got married anyway. 
So now you're upset because the D.O. didn't go well. Until then, we're going to be outside. Just go get happy. The D.O. went sound. No, that was on you because you chose this man. On three sides to every story, his, hers, and the truth. You bought into a marriage, it wasn't what you wanted, and now you're having buyer's remorse. This is why this goes for both men and women. Vet people probably. If you are thinking about marriage or even in a relationship now, you need to vet these people properly so that you don't end up lonely and bitter like this woman here. Learn to take accountability and stop blaming the other person. But anyway, that's been it for today's video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.